What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. It is 5.30 a.m. in the morning, and we are in a very special place. One of my favorite places in Texas. We are in Galveston. We're at my dad's buddy's place. Thankful for him allowing us to stay here and use his boat. But today we have a very special guest. He's on his way, and uh, you'll see him in a minute. I can't spill the beans on who it is just yet, but uh, we're getting ready. About to go out we're gonna do a little flounder fishing maybe catch some reds and trout but we're really targeting flounder so today's video is sponsored by base map I'll show you guys here in a little while um, why I'm gonna be using base map today and how you can use it whenever you go out and fish or hunt um, it can be used in either way so really excited to show you all how this works um, it's a super cool tool that you can add into your everyday hunting and fishing I'll see you guys on the water and uh, show you our special guest here in a minute. All right, guys, just getting ready. Um, so basic setup, got these waders on. Um, they're pretty thin, so wear layers under your waders. And then these boots right here, they're stingray boots. And then we got some uh, shin guards. It's all for stingrays. There'd be no need for this stuff if there was no stingrays. Other than oyster reefs, they can cut your feet up. But put these boots on and uh, those shin guards and it'll keep you from getting swacked by a stingray. I'll leave the link in the description from the last video that I posted down here. Um, my dad's buddy got smacked by a stingray and it put him in the hospital and he barely even got touched by it. So I'll put that in the description, but uh, we're just getting dressed right now and about to go out and hopefully catch some flounder. I know you've all been waiting for who is the special guest today. You've probably seen him on Facebook, you've probably seen him on Instagram, you've probably seen him on YouTube. It is the one and only Adam J. Freestyle Ew! Fisherman. You know it's me with the diamonds on the teeth. <laughs> Look at that grill. <laughs> so he is taking us to the honey hole this morning and uh, we're gonna see if we can't find some flounder. He went last night, they got two limits, uh, so we're going back to the same spot. Gonna see if we can't catch him. He just went and caught some live mullet. He got back home at 2 a.m. and then uh, got up early this morning and went and caught live mullet for us, so should be a good time. You. size finger mullet we're using today um, I don't know if y'all can see this but under this light over here there's about 5,000 mullet swimming around that light you can't see it but they're there I promise it's a beautiful morning This one we're working with 40 pound braid down to a 30 pound mono leader tandem rig um, these are what are these chicken, chicken on boys. chicken boy uh, white and pink and then we're gonna throw some live mullet on these jig them and uh, hopefully catch a few big flounder some doormats door we like doormats welcome to Texas <laughs> oh. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while? No, they'll usually hit it and shit on it. And you're gonna give him like a, probably 120 second count, like a two minute count. Really? Yeah, to get that whole mullet and that lure back inside of his mouth. You just feel a whack? Sometimes you'll feel the whack, sometimes you'll go to, to pop it and it feels like it's stuck. Yeah. Just pick up on it real light, and if it slides with you, that's him. If it doesn't move, it's a fish noise. What we'll do is we'll get a little closer to this reef. Better 
better still be there. Yeah, he's still there. Definitely hanging out in deeper water. Yeah. Out there. That's a good one. And what we can do is, yeah, that's a good one. That's good eats right there, baby. Yep. Man, he ate for a while, huh? He ate good. Choked it. We're about to see where he's got it. E -e -e! <laughs> little flat fish you know you know ain't the giant we're looking for but it's a good start it's a good start I mean, Alright guys, we're going to take a little break in fishing. Tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Base Map. As you know, if you watch my past few videos, they're doing a huge hunt giveaway with Base Map. All you have to do to enter is to click the link in the description. Download their free app. The link will be in my description. That's all you have to do. You'll be automatically entered to win the free all dad hunt, free range all dad hunt in South Texas with me. Um, so today, we're going to pull up base map and uh, obviously I don't know what I'm doing here in Galveston so dad's buddy Joe has base map on his phone and uh, he has all of his waypoints put in logged into his phone all of his good fishing spots so he uh, there's a thing on base map called location sharing so he shared us a few spots not all of them but he sent us uh, let's see one two three four four spots on uh, location sharing so I'm gonna show you all how to do this we're about to go to this spot right here all you have to do is click on that marker, press this these little dots up here in the top right corner, and press share. And then you can either email it or send it to whoever you're wanting to send it to, but uh, the detail that it gives you is absolutely insane. I can click on this marker, you can see the forecast of the weather. You can see the temperature, you can see the, uh, the wind, and uh, if it's cloudy or sunny, um, it's pretty crazy. So this is really gonna help us out today. Um, with the location sharing. He just sent us a few waypoints that we can go try out. And uh, old Jay Money got one on, uh, on this spot. You know how we do. <laughs> so we're gonna roll on to the next spot um, and hopefully we catch a few over there. Time for a sure. serve spot. This Everybody knows old. about it. But uh, he said this is the spot. So if you can get here with, without, any else, without anybody else fishing it, he said we're gonna catch him here. So, yeah, we'll see. Pulled up to the bank, about to make some withdrawals. We're gonna go right back here in this corner. <laughs> we just pulled up to the bank, about to make some withdrawals. Yeah, up against that wall, up against these pilings. Get there. On the other side of these posts. Cast this far? No, we can't. From this pile on? No. What's this up? Yeah, you have to be behind those. You can't cast that under these. What are you thinking now? We'll go tie up. We'll go tie up over there against the end of that dock, and we'll see if we can't get one to play over there. So we used to call them pickle jellyfish growing up. I don't know the uh, scientific term. But if you'll notice these guys, they don't have any um, tentacles. And these guys will not sting you. Me and my cousins used to throw these at each other like snowballs. But don't eat them. Don't eat them. <laughs> don't eat them. That's cool. They're cool though. We got hooked up finally. I'm not gonna get skunked. <laughs> it ain't no baby, I don't think. No, it's a good one. It's a good one, huh? Oh, you don't believe it? Keeper. 
<laughs> oh, jigging on the wall, getting it every time. Finally, got hooked up. It's been slow this morning. You had to work for him. He'll keep. He will keep. Some food. All right, guys. In the live well, she goes. All right. Yeah. That was a killer shot though, man. He came right in I for know. it. He looks right at you. He got hit. He got hit by a flounder, but yeah. Yeah, you can tell that's a good one. Make that slice in it. Tell you. Yeah. You're welcome. Alright guys. We're headed to the headed to the hill. Uh, we gotta clean these two fish and then uh Make some tacos or mm. sandwich or what's your favorite way to eat flounder? Stuff. Stuff flounder. Crab and shrimp. We've already done mm. that. Shrimp so. pimping. Shrimp pimping. Shrimp pimping. Boudin. Boudin's always good. Boudin. Boudin. We'll figure something out. But we're headed to the house. So we're about to clean some fish. I'm going to do one. I'm going to let him do one. I've never cleaned a fish, so I'm learning from this guy. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> but first, we're going to see what's in this dude. He's a. Uh, He's got something in his belly. I think it is. Oh, oh, that's oh, it. That's my mullet. Oh, man, mullet. Addicted, but I ain't caught nothing in the clock's tick ticking. So I'm gonna get to clicking around Facebook town. Check the Facebook feed. See what Facebook found. Out. Go coos. Eat Go coos. Go coos. <laughs> I'm just gonna fly this fish. Come in here behind the peck fin. Come down this backbone. I'm not very good at flounder. Flounder filleting. It's an art. It is. You got that raised rib. So now I'm just gonna work my knife down those back ribs. So the ribs go the whole length of their body. So we'll just work it down until we get to the backbone. And then we'll go over the backbone, come down the other side and then we'll take our skin off. How would you do this differently? What I'm doing right now, what would you do differently? Uh, I just go through the center and cut out. Yep. But there's definitely uh, multiple ways yep. to skin a cat. See, I wanna get the art down where you pull the whole skeleton out. And you just get left with a hot pocket. Yeah. Stuff that hot pocket. So there's your top half of your flounder. You can do this right here. There we go. These are like little fringe bones on the outside. You just peel those off. Toss those in. There's one half of a fillet off the bottom side. We're gonna knock the rest of these off. I'm not gonna bore y'all with my terrible flounder cleaning skills. And uh, he did pretty good. Did I? <laughs> gonna wrap it up with old freestyle Adam. And uh, make sure y'all go check him out. His link will be in the description. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff. Go mm. show him some love. Mm. Hopefully we do some stuff in the future. He's trying to talk me to go to Florida with him here in a week or so to go uh, to go after some big sharks. So y'all leave it in the comments if y'all want to oh, see yeah. that, and we'll do it. Man eaters. But thanks for coming, man. And, thanks for uh, having me, man. We will see y'all in the kitchen. Everybody, we are back in the kitchen. We're gonna do a little flounder po boys tonight for dinner. So got the flounder laid out, um, just the fillet. So I'm gonna chunk these up into little bite-sized pieces. And then I got half flour, half cornmeal mix with some critter glitter in there. 
and then we're gonna drop them in the grease and uh, make some po' boys for dinner. So I'm gonna get this chopped up and then uh, show you whenever we drop them in the grease. Jackie's over here cooking some, cutting some fries, cause you kinda have fries with your po' boy. That's the meat all chopped up. Now I'm gonna put this in this bag, shake it all around so it's all battered and then uh, drop it in the grease. So the fries are done. We're about to drop the flounder in, but I'm gonna show you how we season our fries around here. We already ate one batch while it was cooking. Take you some pink salt, give it a good dose of salt, just like that. Get you some pepper, throw you some pepper on there. Black pepper, and then some sugar. Just like that. Those are the best fries. Got pepper in my nose. Ketchup, that's all you need right here. Best fries in the world. Now, got our flounder all mixed up. Take our little bites, just like that. Drop them in. Start cooking these flounder. Let all these, uh, all these little flounder pieces fry up and then I'll show you how to make the best flounder po' boy you've ever had. So yeah, golden nuggets and Jackie is over here toasting our buns. About to be good. So this is how you make the best flounder po' boy ever. Take your bun, toast it, take you some tartar sauce, shake it up. We got kids in the background so don't mind them. Tartar sauce. Jackie, do you want coleslaw on yours? Some coleslaw. Huh? Just like that. Then you come over here. It's gotta be some fish. Po' boys, you gotta stack high. That's just how po' boys are. Just like that. That is your flounder po' boy. Right there, that looks amazing. You kept the kids quiet. Thank you. So, I'm gonna make one here in a second. We're gonna do a rating on one to 10. See how these things taste. So I'm going tartar sauce right here to the old coleslaw. Just like that. Some fish nuggets, ooh, they're hot. And we're gonna do a little Tabasco. Keith went with uh, Sriracha. I don't know about that. Half and half? half, and half? Yeah. Give us a one to 10, real quick, take a bite, give me a one to 10 rating. One out of 10 rating. You gotta put a lot of, a lot of this on there, Tabasco. One out of 10. Eight. Eight? There we go. All right. I've never made a po' boy on this channel, so I'm gonna do flounder. Mm. I don't remember what I rated flounder last time I cooked it, but I'm gonna give that an eight six. That is amazing. So the sriracha is better. Eight and a half. No. No, that Tabasco is better. Try the sriracha. I tried it with Tabasco, it's all I need. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to enter the free hunt giveaway with Base Map. They will be linked in the description. All you have to do is go click the link in my description and that'll automatically enter you to win the free hunt giveaway, the all dead, free range all dead hunt. Um, all you have to do is make an account using the link in my description. Huge thanks to uh, Adam J for taking us out fishing. We had a blast. We're gonna see more of him hopefully in the future. So stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I will see you guys after Christmas. We got some good stuff coming, so stay tuned.